see them rap when they be piling. So you ain't gonna see me with no stylish. It's time to introduce the starting five for your Washington Wizards. At small forward, six foot ten, number thirty three. on the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. D.A., take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Tobias Harris. David, that's one of my most favorite stories you've ever told from our sideline. Thank you for that. Now that we have a second, let's take a quick peek at the rebounding numbers for the last handful of seasons for Andre Drummond. We've seen him regress as a rebounder these past few seasons. His numbers have come down in that department, and I'd like to see him concentrate on bringing them back up. I'm sure the team would as well. You can never have enough rebound. Look at the 76ers starting group. The stars of this team in the post, Harris and MB. Simmons is out there with Shake Milton, and it's Green in at the three. And for the Wizards, in the backcourt, it's Dinwiddie and Beal. Rui Hachimura out there with Kyle Kuzma, and it's Gafford in at the center position. Just sort of looking at the standings here, Greg, midseason, do you think the conference system still go. holds any relevance? Listen, I think for travel distance, it makes sense to continue to have divisions and conferences. But in the perfect world, I think we'd love to see, hey, let's just seat them 1 through 16 and determine who's truly the best. Now here's Beal. As you can see from his numbers, he's been a key component in their offense. He's averaging almost 18 points a game. Simmons looking it over. Here's Harris, and it's good for two. Harris has got the opening field goal of the game for Philadelphia. And it does a world of good for them to have Harris getting busy inside. And gives them that inside-out edge they're looking for. Now, here's Gafford. He averages a bit over six points a game. Hachimura, no good. And it's Harris with the ball for Philadelphia. Milton on top. He's covered by Beal. Pass to Embiid. Simmons inside. Then would he cover it? Simmons can't get it to go. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right on. This is the area of greatest improvement in Mr. Bradley Beal's game. How about the growth in his passing? Wow. Here's Simmons. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now, he averages nearly 12 points a game. On the wing, Milton. There's the dish to MB. Beal with the steal. And here we go. The fast break with Dinwiddie. Pass to Gafford. And here is Hachimura. Hits it from three-point range. Hachimura is that five. And this is what we're seeing. Rui Hachimura understanding I've got to expand my range. This is huge for his development. Now the 76ers with it. It's a three-point game. Pass to Embiid. Here's Milton. He's covered by Beal. 
now here's Milton. He's tightly guarded. Five on the clock. Here's Simmons. Misses off the left iron. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Gafford and the rejection by Embiid. Lift plus agility. Great recipe for blocking shots. Embiid's one of the best to do it. Kuzma passes to Dinwiddie. Puts it in off the nasty crossover. Outstanding pass on time and on target. The 76ers trail by five. A pass to Harris. And here's MB covered by Gafford. Looking to end the run. And the rejection by Gafford. Here's Hachimura. Softly drops in the fourth. He's got seven. Simmons, he'll bring it up for the 76 They come in fresh off a win against the Heat. Yeah, their long range artillery hit the mark more often than not. A, a great equalizer when you're on the road. It's always a good thing when the defense is scrambling. Whenever there was open space on the perimeter, their shooters were able to locate it. And here is our 2K leaderboard. These teams have been on fire over the course of the past 10 games. Number one, the Wizards. Fifth on the list, the 76ers. I mean, this is about hot shooting for both these teams recently. Two teams playing with tremendous confidence. This sure makes for an exciting matchup. Now here's Simmons. Passes it to Harris. With some arc. Simmons can't get it to go. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. That one falls. Nice play. And you can see their gathering momentum. They want to continue to build on this lead. Right now, still a little too close for comfort. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played. From the bash to Harris. To the paint, picked off in midair. And it's Hachimura penetrating. There's Peel with the three. And again, Washington with the triple. Building up a big early lead. They have taken charge of this game. They've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. At 6'11", with his passing skill, Simmons will always find the open man. And Bede with the steal. Simmons with it. Defended by Dinwiddie. Outside, Simmons. To the inside. Here's Milton. Offensive rebound. Pass to Green. Outside, Simmons. Harris kicks to Milton. Just five to shoot. Fires the three. Rebound, Washington. Ten when he's got four rebounds now tonight. The old finds Hachimura. That one good for two. Hachimura's got 11 points. And you can see their strategy coming in. They want to control the paint. They have used their size and their strength to get off any shot they want. They've dominated on the interior. Now here is Harris. Coming off a solid outing against Miami. Here's Embiid. Nice move. Another miss for him. Now shooting one for four from the floor. Right now trying to get into a rhythm, but so far this quarter, boy, he is struggling to make anything go down. Harris with it. And Hachimura picks him up defensively. Harris passes to Milton. Inside. Here's Simmons. And that one, good. And Simmons. Man, here's a guy who loves playing inside. Simmons can play some bully ball down low. The loudest and craziest fans can achieve, sir. Let's make the noise. And go Wizards answer. Uh, the Wizards are going with the whole
whole new group out there now. And the 76ers will go for a different look here. Andre Drummond's checked in for Embiid. Matisse Thibel comes in for Green. Curry's checked in for Shake Milton. And Maxi's subbed in for Simmons. Washington they're on a 16 to 4 run right now knocks it loose Neto kicks to Caldwell Pope nice ball movement by Washington Ryan in the post working on Drummond he gets that one they've been excellent so far coming in with a well balanced Attack. On the offensive end, it feels like they're getting the shots they want, and defensively, they are connected and on a string. And it's the 76ers with the ball, following the bucket by the Wizards. And it's Drummond missing. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. And Caldwell Pope gets the best. Oh, those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. 132 left in the first. Curry against Caldwell Pope. Drummond the screen. He takes it in. Offensive rebound. Outside for Curry. Tries again. And the layup is up and in. Seth Curry. Another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Washington leading now by 12. There's a minute left here in the first quarter. Castaneda. Now here's Bryant. Castaneda. Just five on the clock. Plays it up off the glass. And the Wizards lead by 14. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. 43 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Max. And he also played a big role in their last game with Miami. Harris passes to Curry. Shot clock at five. And Corey Kispert is going to pick up the foul. Corey Kispert. That is his first That's foul his of the game. Personal foul. Yeah, quick foul. First pick up foul. right away here in the first quarter. Wizards Chris making a switch here. Harrell's checked in. Chris Harrell. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. No one near Curry as he lets it go. Drains it from beyond the arc. Curry's got five. Now this is Curry's specialty. The catch and shoot. Yes, sir. That's in his bag. Go ahead, Seth. Ryan in the post. Up in time. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And as we conclude the first quarter, a one-sided game so far. It's the Wizards up by 11. They'll be back shortly, live from Washington. generated so far scoring breakdown for the Wizards they've made the commitment to get out and run and it's paid off with some highlight real plays in transition and they've taken advantage of the turnovers they've caused getting a lot of their offense straight off their defense the 76ers trail by 11 and now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go here's the second quarter to play so on the four for Washington we've got Caldwell Pope 
Thomas Bryan is out there with Montrose Hill. And there's Bradley Beal. And it's Abdiya into the three spot. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor. And it's all adding up. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. Here's Curry. He's got five. Drummond sets the screen for Curry. Ryan against Drummond. Good, and Curry gets the assist. When you think of Seth Curry, you're thinking shooting. But there, what a pretty pass to find the open man. Wizards leading by 11. And the latest wrinkle in Seth Curry's game, creating for others with consistency. And he's taking time with his reads, letting the defense commit, then making his move. All part of that maturation process. Simmons passes to Maxey. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. Yeah, and guys, with Simmons, you get it all. The shooting, the rebounding, and the passing. The Wizards shooting 69%, showing you what a well-oiled offense looks like tonight. Outside for Caldwell Pope. Over in the corner, Avdia. Caldwell Pope against Kerr. Five to shoot, and stolen by Drummond. Here's Fable. Avdia with the rebound. And the Wizards with possession. They've led by as many as 14 points. Caldwell Pope has to be. Yep, that one goes. Beal's got seven points. You see how crafty Bradley Beal is. The athleticism helps in the paint. That's nicely done. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Now, here's Maxi. Looking at his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. And Simmons slams it in. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope, he, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. And Beal kicks to call Will Pope. Harrell, the best of Bryant. Caldwell Pope outside. Outside, Beal. Four on the shot clock. Here's Bryant, and it's blocked right out of the air and controls it. Now, here's Thibel. Defense right on him. Outside for Simmons. Drummond with a screen on Harrell. Drummond trying to get himself free. Good. He has six. I'll tell you, he's having his Time way right four. now in the Washington second period. China. Forget the first quarter. Let's get to work. Who wants a teacher? All right. Coming on the court. Make the noise. For sure. Wizards answer. For the Wizards. Alvis Bertans checks in for Thomas Bryant. Hachimura comes in for Harold. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Contavious Caldwell Pope. And then for Philadelphia. Embiid, he's checked in for Andre Drummond. Green comes in for Matisse Thibel. And it's Jake Milton in for Curry. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Tin when he drives in. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Well, he's attacking, he's forcing the issue, and that simply stated a terrific play. Here's Simmons following the bucket by the Wizards. It's stolen by Hachimura. A shot missing. And Philadelphia the other way now. Popped up there for MB. No good that time. And he saw the play develop, but the pass just wasn't there. It was a really good thought for sure, but the lob has got to be better than that. Now, here's Maxi. Bradley Beal unable to get his shot to go. Down low. Embiid against Hatchimer. And the dunk by Embiid. 
And that interior presence of Embiid, guys that big, shouldn't be able to move like that. Washington leading now by seven. Dinwiddie drives in. Outside, Beal. Now the pass to Hachimura. The Wizards working the ball around now. Bertans in the post. Guarded by Embiid. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Avdia. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. And Greg, you had a lot of success playing in college and the NBA, but what was the most fun you ever had playing with a team? That's a tough call, Kevin. I mean, winning tends to be the most fun, so I'd have to probably say my UNLV team, but we had some great teams with the Knicks, and don't forget about my Blazers, who are also a really competitive team. Well, the versatility he possesses makes him a very tough cover, guys. Now, here's Dinwiddie. Tight defense on him. Launches it. Oh, drew the foul. foul. Almost hit the three-point bucket. And he'll go to the That's line to shoot three. Foul. First team That's foul. on Ben Simmons. It's his at first trip to the line. For Washington. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? And he hits the first of three. This guy born and raised in Japan. And it's so nice to see Rui Hachimura join the growing list of international players. The NBA is truly a global game. Looking at who's out there now for the Wizards. Daniel Gafford's checked in for Davis Bertans. Kyle Kuzma comes in for Avdia. Kispert's checked in for Bradley Beal. And Raul Neto is subbed in for Dinwiddie. And he makes all three. And the usual order was upset last season in more ways than one. Five out of the final eight teams' doors in the playoffs had never won a title before. Kevin, I think for the long-term health and viability of the league, the more teams with an opportunity to win the championship, the better off. We saw new stars get their first opportunity to win a championship. Giannis Antetokounmpo, one of the hardest workers, one of the most humble superstars, goes out and wins it. It was so fun to cover. Here's Hachimura. Tobias Harris picking up that last basket. Neto kicks to Kispert. Kuzma against Green. Kuzma can't get it to go. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Allen's position, you can see the frustration on Danny his face. Green. A, a tough Green start for the basketball, but they're starting to turn it around now. Wizards leading by five. Passes to Kispert. Two minutes. Two minutes. Here is against Hatchimer. Two minutes. Gafford passes to Kispert. Over Milton. Here's Gafford. And Embiid with the block. And stolen by Kuzma. Over to the left wing. Here's Neto. Green with the block. I'll tell you, for a two-guard, Danny Green gets a ton of blocks. Great use of his length. The offensive rebound. Harris. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's Kyle Kuzma foul. picks one up. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Philadelphia is shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. And the first one at the line is good. Drafted late in the 2011 first round, Tobias Harris has been traded a few times in his career. And players like Tobias, who can bring shooting and length, they will always be in high demand. And Harris drops them both. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. There's 126 left to play in the first half. Kuzma finds Gafford. Six on the shot clock. And it's Kispert in the corner. 
A moment now to check out who's leading in the All-Star voting. And a lot of fans and players interested to see how this thing all turns out. You take a look at Dinwiddie. He's there in the top ten in the Eastern Conference voting. The fans have really gotten behind him. And that's the way it should be. Kevin, you could make a case that he should be a starter. But there are just so many great players in the East. Just being in the top ten shows how much respect the fans have for him. And it's going to be an exciting showcase. We'll keep you updated with the results each day during the voting. Now here's MB. After the miss from Corey Kispert. And in, it's good. First pass of the game for him. One for four shooting. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. There's 38 seconds left in the second quarter. And here's Maxi. Harris looking it over. Up top, MB. Pass to Milton. Just five to shoot. Over Kispert. Another miss by Philadelphia. Hachimura, the pass to Gafford. Back to Hachimura. Charity strike shot. The shot's good. Now it's a seven-point Wizards lead. Big night for Rui Hachimura. You can tell when his number is called. And so it's Washington bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Doc. I Thank you, David, for that interview, and we'll see you back here after the break for third-quarter basketball. Pleased to have you tune in. What better way to start than by checking out the contenders for the dunk contest on All-Star Weekend? And we're getting a better idea of how the field of the dunk contest might shape up. And every one of these guys can jump out of the gym. Look, it takes more than that to win this event. Jeez, if you get a seven, man. Anyway, you gotta have big ideas, Kenny. You gotta have the wow factor. Yeah, that's right, I said a seven. I don't know what you're talking about, Shaq. Moving on now to the first half. So far, things looking good for the Washington Wizards. Their efforts in the paint have really paid dividends. It's been a focal point for them, not so much for the other team. That's been the difference in the game. That'll do it for our show tonight. Thanks for joining us, and we'll send you back to Kevin Harlan for more Hoops action. joining us and welcome back to our special Martin Luther King Day presentation of the NBA. And here's Simmons. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. They trail by seven. They'll be hosting Orlando for the next one. That'll be the first of two straight at home. So on the floor for Philadelphia. Down on the block, it's Harris and MB. Shake Milton is out there with Simmons. And it's Green in at the small forward position. Clock is at three. Here's Simmons. Unable to get that one. And the Wizards now going the other way. Led by as many as 14 points. Dinwiddie kicks to Beal. Hachimura against Harris. Hachimura down low, and the officials three call for a three-second violation. Here's a look at what's coming up for Washington. On Wednesday, they'll be matching up against Kevin Durant and the Brooklyn Nets. And then on Friday, they'll host the Toronto Raptors. And for their matchup with the Celtics, on paper, you'd expect them to come away with the win, but this might be one of those trap games where they let it get away from them if they aren't focused. Now, here's Green to the middle. Here's Embiid, and he makes good on the layup. Joel Embiid. Embiid's got the first points of the third quarter up on the board for Philadelphia. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. 
Dinwiddie against Simmons. Hachimura kicks to Kuzma. And this happens when Kuzma is aggressive. When he's looking to score, he makes the D react. The Wizards shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. First free throw is good. And the edge Kuzma plays with is terrific. A, a tough, versatile player who plays with a real hunger to keep getting better. Looking at who's out there now for the Wizards. Harrell comes in for Daniel Gafford. And it's Bertinus in for Hachimura. Drummond's checked in for the 76ers. Matisse Thibel comes in for Green. Both shots good from the strike. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. Now, here's Milton. He's covered by Beal. High arcing shot. No good from Simmons. Wizards leading by seven. And that strange tension in the air. That's Ben Simmons. And the second shot. What looked like a surefire separation never materialized. And Simmons now still with the team. I can tell you, he has a lot to prove this year. Abdiev's checked in for Washington. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Seth Curry, he's checked in for Shake Milton. Now here's Beal after Ben Simmons miss. Beal dishes to Hero. Shot clock at six. Back to Beal. Let's the three fly. And Simmons with the rebound. The 76ers trail by seven. Looking to end his cold spell. Ben and Simmons. Simmons slams it in. And how about the slashing ability of Simmons really creating havoc for the defense with his aggressive mentality? Washington shooting 53% from the floor. They're locked in. Dinwiddie against Simmons. Over in the corner, Avdia. Pass to Harrell. Six to shoot. He's off on that one. Good D by Drummond. Simmons with it. He's got eight. Out to Harris. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Now just a two-point Wizards lead. And really a combo forward with, with a solid outside touch. Harris is the ideal fit for the modern NBA. Wizards passing it around. Curry against Beal. Over in the corner, Avdia. Over Thibel. It's hauled in by Harris. Harris has got four rebounds now tonight. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Drummond in the post. Working on Burton. And that one's Andre good. Drummond. Yeah, it's such a rarity these days, but Andre Drummond is a true five. The guy wants to work on the interior. Here's Beal, and he gets the bucket. Beal's got nine points. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. And so here is Philadelphia. Just four points. That's all they've given up here in the second half. Fibel, the pass to Harris. Over Burton. Harris, no good. And it's Dinwiddie with the ball. Bringing it up now for the Wizards. They've led by as many as 14 points. Over in the corner, Avdia. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two and the free throw line. That's his first personal foul. The Wizards shoot their Third sixth and seventh foul. free throws in the game. At the line for the Wizards. Better.
And he knocks down the first one. For the Wizards, Ryan is checked in for Bertinus. Contavious called Will Pope comes in for Beal. And Raul Neto is subbed in for Dinwiddie. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Maxi's checked in. Both good from the line that time. The 76ers trail by four. Outside, Simmons. Got a piece of it. Here's the break. Meadow finds Bryant. And he converts the layup. Bryant's got his second bucket. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Wizards. Defensively, they played with a lot of energy, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. Well, their transition game has been operating at full speed, too. They've really run the break well. And give them credit, Simmons struggled at the line when he entered the league, but injuries really improved his foul shooting. The 76ers shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. He's off on the first. Probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. Kispert's checked in for Avdia. No luck that time either. A walking triple-double threat. Simmons needs to keep working on developing that jump shot to be truly unguardable. Good for another field goal. Number five in the night. Five for ten shooting. So it's the Wizards now. They lead by four. Neto kicks to Caldwell Pope. Inside. Here's Bryant. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. That's an example of the toughness that Thomas Bryant brings to the table. He will not go away. The Wizards have gone a perfect 7 of 7 from the line tonight. Wizards making a switch here. Chimura is checked in. Philadelphia also making some changes. Joel Embiid is checked in for Ben Simmons. And it's Green in for Matisse Thibault. One shot. And Bryant, no good on that one. Well, just because you're a second-round pick does not mean that you cannot carve out a legitimate NBA career. Give credit to Thomas Joel Bryant. Andy. Incredible attitude, great work habits, and this guy continues to grind. Wizards leading by three. Left side, Bryant. And that one drops for him. Bryant's got eight. Uh, just such a good finisher around the bucket. Thomas Bryant has so many moves he can turn to. Nice. One fifty-six left in the third quarter of the game. Now Curry. He has five. Here's Trummond. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got three assists in the game. Well, exposing a weakness in the defense, that's just way too easy, guys. The Wizards have gone 4-7 to get things started here in the second half. 129 left to play in the third. And there's the pass to Caldwell Pope to the left wing. Nice ball movement by Washington. Clock at four. And that one is good. And the Wizards lead by five. They are just killing them on the interior. 11 feet away. MB wide open. Another three for Philadelphia. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. And here is Hachimura. 
after the three-pointer from Joel Embiid. And here's Neto outside. Nailed from three-point match. She's got five. Well, there are times where the court vision gets questioned, but Rui Hachimura, the delivery, sets up his teammate. Really well done. There's 47 seconds left here in the third quarter. Here's Max. He kicks it to Drummond. Curry on the wing. Drummond sets the screen for Curry. And the 76ers Seth tack Curry. on two more. One thing you know, you do not have to tell Seth Curry to shoot it. If he gets an open look, he's going to take it. Here's Neto. It's Drummond with the rebound. Drummond's got his fourth rebound in this one. Let's it go from 11. Off the left rim and out. Washington leading now by three. This is it to Caldwell Pope. I mean, that's a Seth tough Curry. break for the D. I mean, he took the hit foul. and drew the whistle. This, this is back. his first free throw of the game. The Gotta admire Washington. what he's been able to do at the free throw line this ball season. Ball. How about over 90%? Yeah, the first one falls. We have much improved foul shooter, KCP also starting to get to the line at a higher rate. And Caldwell Pope drops them both. Now, here's Maxie. Four seconds left. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Yeah, nice, strong finish there. Nearly a three point opportunity. The 76ers Taking shooting their fifth and six free throws of the game. Free throw good, Maxie. And Washington making a change here. He's perfect from the line this time. From 12 feet out. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Wizards lead by three. We'll be back shortly, live from Washington. a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? We call that putting it right in the pocket, and he knew what to do with it once it was there. Come on, man. It's the and thanks for joining us again, folks. 2K Sports broadcasting here on MLK Day, bringing you the NBA in the backcourt, it's Dinwiddie and Beal. Kyle Kuzma is out there with Davis Burton. And it's Gafford in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the group on the floor right now for Washington. And there's a foul. That's his we'll go first on Jake foul. First that is his foul. first foul of the game. the pass to Beal. It's stolen by Milton. And he was camped in just the right spot to swipe that pass away down low. Simmons finds Milton. Watch the screen. Harris outside. Releases from 15. Connects the jumper drop. Harris has got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the 76ers. The Wizards with the lead. Dinwiddie passes the Bears. Fires the three. That one falls coming up Dinwiddie's feet. Boy, to be a sweet shooting big like Davis Bertans, this guy is deadly from deep. Pass to Harris. Indeed with it. Covered by Gaffer. Pass to Dinwiddie. No good with the layup. And here's Simmons. He'll bring it up for the 76ers. 
Green passes to Harris. Outside, Zimmerman. And here is Harris. Lock at six. Embiid trying to break loose. Another shot. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And you like how physical his Harris can get foul. inside. Always first looking to initiate contact. At the line for the 76ers, Tobias Harris. And he makes the first. Harrell, he's checked in for Daniel Gaffer. drops them both and they came out of the locker room after halftime with a much more physical approach than what we saw in that first half Beal uses the glass to finish the way and the Wizards lead by four well, Bradley Beal has become such a good playmaker finishing through contact that is beautiful and it's the 76ers with the ball Outside, Simmons. The pass to Harris. Back to Simmons. And he elevates for the slam dunk. Montrez Harrell did not like that. You can't let Simmons get going off of these dunks. His confidence just soars when he slams it down like that. On our at and 5G slam cam, you just saw an explosive highlight. And stolen by Harris. Simmons dishes to Embiid. Rebound, Washington. Kuzma with it. Now Green defending. Nice ball movement by Washington. Dinwiddie, left side. Outside, Beal. Kept alive. Moves back up. And the rejection by Embiid. One-on-one -on -one fast break. Here's Milton. And he overshot that one, missing. Washington's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. It's stolen by Green. Outside, Simmons. Passes it to Harris. Back to Simmons. And Bede with a screen on Dinwiddie. Five to shoot. And that one's good, and Simmons. Simmons. Coach has to be happy with Simmons' intensity tonight, fighting hard for his looks on offense. Dinwiddie with it. Pass to Harold. Kuzma outside to the wing on the left. Dinwiddie surveying the floor. Five on the clock. Beal the pass to Harold. And Harold shoots it in. This young guy is an absolute monster at the rim. So tough for opponents to match Harold's level of physicality. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Harris outside. Pass to Simmons. Good. And Harris gets the assist. Simmons got six here in this quarter. Time out on the floor. That's about the Wizards. first defense I can imagine a team playing coming down the stretch. You know, we talk about execution offensively coming down the stretch. To me, it's as important defensively, right. and they didn't have it. Make the noise. Let's go. Wizards answer. Wizards. Wizards. checked in for Washington. Seth Curry, he's checked in for the 76ers. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, during the break, I listened in to what the head coach of the Wizards was getting across in the huddle. This is still a close game, and he told us, guys, we're not far away. We can still get this one. If we seize the moment, we can walk away with the win. Guys? Thank you, David. Wizards have gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. Jim Whitty finds Harold. Outside. Off target from outside. 
You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Embiid against Harrell. Embiid kicks to Simmons. Shot clock at six. To take the lead. Curry can't get it to go. And so it's Hachimura who brings up the ball for the Washington Wizards. This one for three. And Curry pulls it down. 76ers have gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting at even 50% from the field. Here's Simmons. Oh, they get it there. And the call on the shot that sends it into the line. Rui Hachimura picks one up. What a master from Simmons, fooling the Shooting entire defense in the paint ben there. Simmons. Two shots. That one is off. Green, he's checked in for Philadelphia. the free throw drops for him and after attempting no free throws in the first half now he's putting the defense back on its heels here's the pass to Harrell Simmons against Hachimura Kuzma inside right side Beal the 10 foot and the basket good a bad shot that time He's got four points in the quarter. And that's right in his wheelhouse. Looking to make an impact when he counts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a player who understands when the game is hanging in the balance. He knows it's winning time. Hey, Ben, who wants a teaser? Make some noise. And your wizard dancer. Tobias Harris. Passes it to Milton. Pass to Harris. Shoots from 12. And there's MB. That's good on the assist from Harris. And this is what makes him be so dangerous. And he makes stretching the floor look effortless. All right, man. Try to get up on your feet and make some noise. It's teacher time. Washington trail. Dinwiddie outside. And stolen by Simmons. And there's the feed to Embiid. Beal with the steal. Guzma passes to Dinwiddie. Beal against Green. Good for another basket. He's put up two shots and made seven of them. This guy is such a dominant offensive talent. When he gets to the spot, he just goes to work. Simmons with bounce pass. There's MP. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Assisted by Simmons ben got Simmons. six assists in the game. Game winding down, and they just keep changing leads. And guys, no separation yet, and I really don't think we're going to see any. 76ers foul, Ben Simmons. 
That's his third and personal And a closer foul. look here at the scoring Second breakdown for Philadelphia. They keep piling Back up the assists, the and they haven't cooled off Spencer at all. Henry. And I also like the work Two they've shots. been doing in the low post, getting a lot of their points generated inside. That's the first, and that ties the game up. And the Wizards making a change here. Gafford's check in. So making both free throws, that'll give them the lead here. Well, consistency is so critical, especially in clutch moments. This guy has got that gene. Pass to Embiid. Silver Gafford. And no good. Now the Wizards take it the other way. He's led by as many as 14 points. And the pass to Hachimura. Back to Beal. against Harris. On seven, Gafford trying to break free. Hachimura, no good. It's stolen by Hachimura. It's in! And that one sent the bench into a frenzy. I'll tell you, these guys have worked so hard together. Everyone pulling in the same direction. Beautiful to watch. Now here's Simmons. Here's Embiid. Dinwiddie with the rebound. And the Wizards with possession. Beal with it, now defended by Embiid. And Beal kicks to Hachimura. Green against Kuzma. Back to Hachimura, to the inside. Just in a shoot. Here's Gaffer, and they force the shot clock violation. Great team. And those are the kinds of mistakes that are magnified when we're talking about a game down the stretch. With sexy license, teacher. All right, coming on to the court, make some noise for your Wizards answer. Twenty-three seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. To the left side wing. Fourteen feet away. MB, no good. And an intentional foul right there. Yeah, then you three. have to do that, though. That's you can't just let him go the game. Third team foul. At the line for the Wizards. Hachimura. At the line for two. He hits the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. So he gets them both, and it's a five-point game. You've got to show composure, and he comes through right when the team needs him most. And here's Green outside. That shot off the mark. And so they foul intentionally. Joel, you have to foul, but I'm sure they would have foul. liked to foul someone different. Foul. At the line for the Wizards, Spencer Dinwiddie. Who shot? So the first one drops, and that increases their lead to six. So he drops them both. It's a seven-point game. Now Simmons. And 
and so it's the Wizards with the win. It was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job making sure it didn't get away from them late. Yeah, I mean, they faced some challenges, but really held firm when they needed to. On both ends, it's just effective in terms of coming away with this win. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Bradley, congrats on the win. We saw your parents in the stands and your mom was cheering you on. I know it's much more fun when you win in front of the home crowd and in front of the family. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.